Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we'll explain some of the options for configuring group room blocks. From the Group Info screen, click the Toolbar's Room Matrix button to see the room rates and block details. If you've already set up rates, this screen should look somewhat familiar since both the rates and the blocks are configured from here. On the right, we see this group already has rates built, but there are no rooms in the blocked column. You'll notice that not every room has a rate, which means we're restricting this group to only these two types. The Available column shows us the current availability for each room type. After I click Save, we'll see immediately how this block affects our transient inventory. So let's enter some inventory. All I have to do is click in the Blocked column and enter the number of rooms I want blocked. We can change the display order to enter the block a little faster. By clicking the Room Type column once, Cloud PM rearranges the room types in ascending alphabetical order. Click it again to switch to descending order, and one more time to go back to our original date order. Since this group only contracted for standard king and queen rooms, changing to room type order lumps them together so I can quickly enter quantities for each type. That does it for this block, so I'll click Save. Note that the Available column, the Info bar, and the Room Matrix Summary have all updated to reflect the new block. For many hotels, there are no additional steps, but some hotels may wish to utilize one or more of Cloud PM's optional Group Block features. You can access these from the Room Matrix tab on the toolbar. Let's take a look at Show Contract Rooms. When this option is enabled, you can see a new column is added to the grid below. This enables you to enter the number of rooms you've contracted to the group in this column without actually blocking that number of rooms out of inventory in this column. Here's an example involving a wedding group. They've contracted for 40 rooms, but we're confident they won't sell that many. Rather than actually block all 40, we'll enter 40 in the Contract column. While only taking a dozen rooms out of transient inventory. If the group picks up more than the 12 blocked, Cloud PM will allow us to sell all the way up to 40 rooms until the cutoff date. A word of caution. Inventory and booking pace should be carefully monitored to avoid booking too many transient rooms while you have a lot of rooms committed to contracts. There may be groups that you want to cap or limit the block to only the amount contracted, such as this group with a very low rate. With my contract rooms already entered, I'll select the Enforce Contract option. This pop-up message warns that Cloud PM will update the blocked inventory to match the contract amount. I'll say yes to confirm. Cloud PM will now cap this block at the contracted 10 rooms a night, even if that user has overbook rights, since we don't want to cannibalize transient revenue for this low-rate group. If you want to track a group's actual performance against what was first blocked, Choose the Show Original Block button. This simply adds a column displaying the block prior to any changes. To forbid changes to a block, activate the Lock Original Block option. This not only prevents users who have overbook rights from adding to the block, like Enforce Contract, it keeps anyone from increasing or decreasing the block at all until the cutoff date or the option is turned off. You can use these options in a variety of combinations depending on your hotel's needs and the requirements of a particular group. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please feel free to contact your account manager or our customer support center for additional questions.